Show notes are a super important thing for your podcast. It's something that you put out every single episode, and it's something your listeners read every time you put out an episode. So today we're going to be talking about how to write better show notes and how it can help your show. All right, let's do it. up everybody and welcome to another video. I am Matt with I Edit Podcast and today I want to talk to you about show notes. So if you don't know exactly what show notes are, they are the description that goes along with every single podcast episode that you put out. And I think show notes are a very underutilized thing in podcasting because Every time you put out an episode, it has a description that goes with it, and most people don't give much thought to it. That's just two or three lines that you use. In this episode, we do this, we talk about this, and that's about it, which is not, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think there's a better way to utilize those show notes and to kind of propel your, your show forward and kind of set yourself apart from other podcasts. So the first thing that I want to mention is the length of your show notes. So I kind of mentioned before, most people write two or three lines in their show notes, and there's nothing really wrong with that, but I think that you should have three or four good-sized paragraphs in your show notes, and you should really think of your description of your podcast as more of an article, as more of a blog post, maybe, and, and kind of pack it with goodies that the listener will go into and read and find out more about what you're talking about. Now, you don't have to write, you know, a whole huge three-page essay every single time you put out a podcast. Just try and focus on making it a little bit longer and kind of packing it with more value that your listener will take away every time they read your show notes. You want your listener to be reading your show notes every single episode. So the next time you're writing your show notes, just keep that in mind. Maybe lengthen your show notes a little bit and you're going to have to maybe look some things up, which kind of brings me into my next topic, which is research. So I mentioned you want your show notes to kind of feel more like an article. You want it to feel more like a blog post, something that you've done research on. And maybe you talk about something specific in your podcast episode. You want to do research around that topic. That way, maybe you can add some of that research into your show notes, some stuff that you didn't talk about in your actual show. That way people know that you not only did your research in the show and you can have that information to back yourself up, but it will give that extra nugget of information to your listener when they go in and read your show notes. So as I mentioned, you want to do research around the topic or topics that you've discussed in your show it doesn't have to be directly related to everything that you've mentioned in the show, but you definitely want it to be around those things. And that kind of brings me into the next thing that I want to talk about, which is keywords. So if you don't know exactly what keywords are, it's just words or short phrases that are directly related to the content that you are producing. So if you were like me, you would want to use podcast, podcasting, audio, microphones, that kind, those kinds of keywords in order to relate to back to your content. And the reason why keywords are so important is because that's what people search for. And when they search for those specific keywords in that topic or in that genre that you're talking about, then they will find your podcast because your show notes are filled with those keywords. When it comes to using keywords, you want to use them naturally or fluidly throughout your writing. So, as some people try and force keywords into their show notes or description, and it, it tends to just feel really unnatural and really forced. So use your writing and use your research as a natural way to use those keywords, but keep it in the back of your mind of what people would be searching for if they were searching for whatever your topic is about and use those keywords or short phrases in your description. So the next thing that I want to talk about is using links in your show notes. So you might already be doing this, but you should be linking to everything and anything that you can 
in your show notes. So that includes all of your social media. That includes maybe your website if you have one, uh, the blog post that's related to this, um, any kind of research that you've done, anything that you mentioned in the show. Maybe you didn't even say in the show that it was going to be in the show notes, but it will be that extra little value. It'll be that extra little nugget of information that sets your show apart from other shows. And especially if you say in the show that you'll put the link in the description, then I always do that, of course. You want to make it as easy as possible for people to stay engaged with your content specifically. So you want there to almost be a closed circle around your content. So in your podcast, maybe link to your website. And in your website, you have a blog post. And in that blog post, you've linked to your YouTube channel. And in your YouTube channel, you linked back to your podcast. So really, they, they, it makes it as easy as possible for people to just click once and keep getting engaged in your content. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I know this was a little bit of a shorter video, but I hope that this video has helped you realize why show notes are so important for your show and ways that you can incorporate them better in your podcast. All right, thank you for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. If you like the video, hit subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you want to find me over on Instagram, I'm at iEditPodcast. And if you are interested in my editing services, I'm over at iEditPodcast.com. All right, see you next week.